G'day everyone. In this video I'm just going to be explaining how the output potentiometer, the volume control on a guitar pedal works and don't be too worried if you're not too familiar with electronics, I'm going to be explaining it as simply and um, as thoroughly as I can. This particular configuration for the volume control is used in a lot of guitar pedals and um, I think it's probably pretty useful to understand how it actually works, particularly if you want to get into um, you know, the electronics of guitar pedals, um, you probably should understand how this output potentiometer works. A few examples of guitar pedals that use it are the Dodd 250, the Distortion Plus, the Big Muff Pie, Tone Bender, pretty sure the Fuzz Face uses it as well, uh, Blue Clipper, um, there, there are a lot of pedals that use this sort of this particular configuration on the output um, for the volume control, so let's get down to it. So first the circuit, um, again don't be worried too much about the electronics, I, I'm going to be going through this pretty thoroughly and um, it's pretty simple to understand. So um, let's start off with just an explanation of what's going on here. You've got 9 volts which you can pretty much um, imagine being the, the, the um, 9 volt battery. Um, you've got the plus terminal and the negative terminal and you've got R1 um, which is just a resistor and R2 which is just another resistor and then you've got V out here. Now you can think of V out basically as the output to your guitar amp so if you just envision um, a cable going off to the guitar amp here um, this is what's being sent to, the, to your guitar amp. And the two terminals at the top and the bottom um, are just there for reference. Um, you know, you can imagine that you're uh, putting leads to a multimeter across those um, to measure R1 and R2. So I've just assigned two values to R1 and R2. R1's 10k and R2's 20k. So what would be the voltage um, that you would get if you placed a multimeter from R1, um, the top terminal here, and V out? and what would be the voltage that you get on the 20k resistor if you put another multimeter. I'll just draw those in so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. So if you've got your multimeter in like this and another multimeter in like this, what would be the two values that we would get um, on these two multimeters on R1 and R2? So I've actually set this up. Um, the blue resistor here is R1 and the, and the beige resistor here is R2. So basically what we get on this red multimeter is for the 10k resistor, so let's just whack that on voltage and you can see that the voltage that comes up is 3 volts. So I'll just write that on the sheet. And then what we get on the blue resistor is R2, the 20k, the 20k resistor, and the result is about 6 volts. So I've put the 3 volts and the 6 volts back onto the um, schematic so, so we can remember what we measured on those two points. Um, so what would be the output of um, V out if you, were, if you were wondering how much voltage is actually going to the amplifier? Is it 6 volts or is it 3 volts? And you might sort of think, well, it's going to be 3 volts because 9 volts comes in um, and then you've got um, the 3 volt drop for the 10k resistor, so 3 volts goes out, but that's actually not correct. The correct answer is 6 volts, because when you measure voltage in a circuit, you place one probe on ground, and the other probe, so this is ground, this one down the bottom here is ground, and the other probe on um, what you want to measure, which will be V out. So you'll actually get, you'll notice that that's pretty much the same as what we just did before, so it's actually 6 volts output. So what does this all have to do with the volume control on a guitar pedal? Well basically the volume control works a lot like the, this um, voltage divider circuit that we've been looking at. If you think of these terminals being the terminals on the end of the potentiometer, you've got the three lugs there, it pretty much works the same. So if you pretend that you've got a guitar pedal with a volume control that, and it's got, a, it's got a numbered dial 0 to 10, and the value of the potentiometer is 100k, if you turned the volume from 0 to 1, you would have values across these, across these lugs. Um, if you measured those values, you'd have them as 90k and 10k. 
But so the voltage that would be at V out, you'd have to work out what these two separate voltages are. So for the 90K, you'd be looking at 8.1 volts. And for the 10K, you'd be looking at 0 0.9 volts. So V out would be 0 0.9 volts. So the voltage on V out is quite low. You'd get a quiet output as you'd expect if you turn the volume um, to one on your guitar pedal. But as you turn it more and more, um, you'll see that R1 actually decreases and R2 increases. And as such, the voltage at V out increases as well as a volume control on your guitar pedal works. As you turn it up, you get more voltage out, you get more signal, the, the, the signal is louder. So how do you actually remember this? Because, I mean, if this is a new concept to you, you know, it might be hard to sort of um, implant in your mind, but I'll just tell you how I remember it. It might, it might help it sort of cement in there for you. Basically, um, we'll just take this 100K resistor again. Just note that not all output resistors are, um, not all output potentiometers are 100K. They can be 500 or 500K or a meg, um, but I'll just use 100K um, to, for um, consistency sake. Basically, if you think about t turning your, like again, you've got a guitar pedal and you turn it all the way up so it's maximum volume, um, what, will these, what will these values be? Well, I've already written that one in. R2 will actually be 100K and R1 will be 0K. So R1 basically doesn't exist. So your, your signal, the, the tune that you're playing on your guitar comes, comes down and it hits V out and, and all the voltage will go out um, V out because if you think about the resistance, it's kind of like a brick wall. It's stopping you, any of any part of your signal going to ground. It's all going um, to V out. And the same goes for if you turn the potentiometer to 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 zero, to you know, like all the way left, so that you've got no volume coming out of the guitar pedal. The reason this is happening is because you've got 100k on R1 and nothing on R2. And as you can see, if you've got nothing on R2, V out, the, the output signal is connected to ground, and ground is zero volts, so you've got no voltage going out of the circuit. So that's the way that I remember that, because um, you know, obviously, it, you know, like if you walk away from it, come back in the future, you might forget. But if you just remember that, that when R2 is, is 0K, V out is connected to ground, and when when V out's connected to zero volts, you don't get anything out of the circuit. That's the easiest way that I've found um, to remember this. So if you have a look at a few schematics now, I'd encourage you to go and have a look at um, uh, the Distortion Plus or the or the Big Muff Pi. You will see the potent this potentiometer um, on the end uh, on the on the last as the very last component on the circuit. Um, there's a potentiometer, the output potentiometer, and um, you'll see that um, it kind of looks a bit like this. You don't have the two resistors there, but you'll see that the potentiometer is kind of in this configuration. And, um, and pretty much everything from this side um, backwards will be the rest of the effect. So I hope I explained that clearly. Um, you could go and get the resistors like I've done and, um, and set them up and measure the voltage just um, to see it for yourself. Um, and I also encourage you to go and check out the schematics for the circuit so that you can see that that um, the volume potentiometer on the end of the circuit there just so it sort of cements it um, in your mind so that yeah you remember um, you can see exactly what I'm talking about with that potentiometer on the end of the um, on the end of the circuit so if this if this video has been helpful um, I, I really appreciate a thumbs up and um, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe